is Dr. Sibylla Smythe Withering. Dr. Sybil to you. Today I want to discuss a debilitating disorder that strikes at the upper echelons of society during spring racing carnivals everywhere. Yes, Royal Ascot Kissy Kissy disease afflicts women mostly and causes severe outbreaks of blotchy fake tans, horsey laughter, ha 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 ha, toothy grins, Bolly Swiller's elbow, <coughs> and an uncontrollable urge to throw up into one's handbag. Symptoms include anxiety, depression, stress and elation and that's just doing up the zip of one slip of a frock that could double as a frilly floral condom. Suicidal thoughts are common. Well darling if one breaks one of those ferociously fake nails bought on credit one wants to throw oneself off one stiletto here. There goes another one. Or one might simply fall off one stiletto. Another one. It's all due to a latent death wish. Why else would one buy these killer heels? Other symptoms of Royal Ascot Kissy Kissy disease include spending a fortune on a hat that looks like a cross between a vintage Range Rover hubcap and a dead pheasant, and plastic surgery that makes one look like a permanently startled ferret with bowling ball boobs. It is a complex disorder. All sufferers of this disease are named Zara. Well, with those puffy collagen lips, Zara, darling, is the only name one can gush with confidence. Sufferers feel a strange urge to picnic in the car park out of the boot of a Rolls Royce. It is not entirely irrational behavior as a Rolls Royce has a perfect tire lever for the spreading of caviar on toast. Once inside the royal enclosure, sufferers of kissy kissy disease cannot suppress the urge to play spot the toff. This leads to bizarre conversations like, oh, is that Lord what's his face? I thought he was in jail. No, that's not him. That's the prime minister. Oh, like, that's totally hilarious. Quick, over there, it's Lady Mary Gold Wharton Jones, dressed like a Mardi Gras float again. No, darling, that's Princess Beatrice. Wait there, isn't that the actress who shagged Mick Jagger? But darling, haven't we all? The final symptom of kissy kissy disease is a vague interest in horse racing as the Aga Khan didn't buy you a racehorse for Christmas, ha ha ha. You join a syndicate and end up owning an eyelash of little Lord Fauntleroy, a horse that has more hope of appearing on a French menu than at Ascot. After all the bolly swilling, kissy kissy gushing and fighting Bear grill style to survive on mini canapes and stray insects for hours, one turns into a witch with blotchy mascara, Halloween hair, roadkill hat feathers sticking out one ear and dress hem tucked into the knickers, followed by the oops a gushy gushy projectile vomit. This is of course an omen to back Chunky Rain in the final race. Tragic, isn't it? I'm Dr Sybil. Toodles.